Oh, what's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode we have a lot of battles as you can see. <laughs> not, we're not just attacking Annapolis. We've also got Niagara and Cayuga. Cayuga that will also be taken plus potentially Tunis depending on how I'm feeling. So without further ado, let's crack on and secure Annapolis and keep our North American uh, attack could keep the momentum going actually i suppose uh, the invasion's gone really well we've stormed into the region and we're gonna have no trouble subduing the locals and that means we will be able to further expand our economic empire and potentially look to land in india i would like to land in goa may potentially start building up those invasion forces now so these guns can stay behind quite safely because we are aware of the fact that this uh, army is incredibly depleted and not at good strength anyway. We are going to push up quite aggressively. Bowman on the left, native musket auxiliary. The bowman on the right, native musket auxiliary on the left. Got a lot of dragoon units, these cavalry units, which would probably well, they will serve us. Uh, well against the Cherokee later on. So storm up, do not wait. Push the cavalry up wide. Which might even make them run. Native auxiliary and stealth, but why stealth when you have such an overwhelming advantage in firepower? Your mortars, you can do what you like. I may actually want my gun line to advance up further than that. Should not have held down shift. The bowman didn't really want to be in that part of the line. There we go. Cavalry's charging. They may inhibit our push, although I suppose I've actually been quite aggressive with that manoeuvre. Let's maybe do something like this. Cavalry will interfere with us. Charge my cavalry in on the, on the left. Drive the cavalry forward. I'm not bothered about getting attacked in melee combat. Might musk auxiliary in as well to join that action. Two of you go for the native bowman auxiliary, the dragoons go for the mortars. Send my cavalry forward. I guess you guys probably routed from mortar fire, I suppose. Uh, realistically, you wouldn't be super concerned about a whole lot else. Musketmen, musket auxiliary. Even charge the foot. Colonial Dragoons get involved. Cavalry push around the flank. Ultimately, we can just keep driving our line forward. Then we generals fallen. Yeah, I suppose keep the musket troops in. General bodyguard is down. Yeah, they were going to come back. Someone else went routed, I wonder if that's from... Yes, it's mortar fire. So you can see there, they're causing full strength units to rout. Do not ever underestimate the power of the mortar. I'm afraid our powers are better. Charge in. Swarm. These archers engage the 13 colonies. Troops here to your front. Bow fires going off everywhere. Bring my general up, put it across. So we've got any mercenaries under attack. Bring these colonial dragoons back into the marines. Bring you guys into the militia. Bowman auxiliary charge, chase them down in combat. Yeah, that's more troops routing. So, 
yeah, a bit bloodier than I'd like, but you know what, when you've got just such overwhelming advantage like this, it doesn't really matter. They don't have the forces to, to uh, take advantage of our depleted units. None of these, none of this army will stand after the battle anyway. Yeah. So some of our units have got quite badly bloody, the 63rd for example, but they've got a lot of experience out of it. But there we go, that's the first action done. Uh, because we've got both of the Iroquois territories besieged, we will be able to annihilate perfection in one turn. You could potentially drive straight on down to Williamsburg, but I'm going to let you guys replenish for now. So Mr. Breen, actually one thing I might want to do is just get some militia recruited because these guys are going to need garrisoning if I want to keep my army driving forward. Let's assault Cayuga. Yeah, both these territories, they may cause some issues. We'll, we'll likely try and build church schools to try and uh, convert the locals to Catholicism. Um, we have one of our agents that's currently working their way through the high north. Hmm, okay. So that's quite a nice little spot. So I have been caught out. Oh, I shouldn't have moved you. I've been caught out by the native factions quite a few times. So in this case, I'm actually going to be a little bit cagey and say actually you know what let's not let's not go mad form a traditional defensive line all of my light infantry are going to be together on the left give them some cavalry support for support howitzers may fire round shot these 12 pounders don't really have a oh, back here could work general on ground okay so let's pivot the line somewhat get my skirmishes up on the high ground same with my regiment of horse Lots of artillery fire has been unleashed. There's a lot of hidden troops somewhere. It's so the armed tribesmen are taking the brunt of the punishment. Wow, I suppose I better better push my cavalry up and begin probing these hidden units. It's got our mercenaries are holding the right flank. Push forward. We can threaten the chief's bodyguard, but the goal would be to try to find where their army is. We're not going to change you guys' shrapnel shot because there is a whole, there's plenty of musket fire. You guys may elect to chase after my cavalry, which is that's, that's your prerogative. There they are. So push my regiment of horse up to war. Actually, run straight through. Yeah, they're currently chasing after my cavalry, so run through just to probe this area a little bit more. Spread my light infantry around like so. They're hidden, but I'm going to keep them. I'm going to run them. Medicine men, warriors, bowmen, medicine men. Okay, you're gonna see if you can thread the gap. You're probably gonna to wanna to run this way. Then swing around. Bowmen are engaging me. But we are going to make it out. Good. 
recall the cavalry. You guys stay moving. Your infantry pushing the right flank. Maybe you're a power player. Yeah, they have been. There we go. So that's the bulk of their army unmasked. So now they are going to push forward the attack. So I can get my cavalry behind the lines. They can get my regiment force over. Keep my general in the center. Everyone's going to make ready and fire. And yeah, medicine men do not like concentrated musket fire. They're broken, but they'll probably come back. Okay, maybe you guys want to switch to caster shot. Starting to get a bit of a blob forming. There we go. Cavalry charge the medicine men. One of the armed tribesmen. Maybe they are shattered, so pull the cavalry back. Swing my right flank in. Some of their elites are trying to advance up towards my light infantry. They're taking a lot of... No, not elites. Native American warriors. This is the, the bowmen. I'm sure the howitzers focus on the bows, because they're particularly annoying. Let's push my cavalry up towards the chief's bodyguard, but they're going to walk. You men are reloading and engaging the bowmen. So you men counter charge. Garrison warriors. Although it looks like they, okay, they turn around right when we restart. Other cavalry up. You men get attack the armed tribesmen. Medicine men may catch us out here a little bit. The warriors are going down to my infantry. Maybe they're shattered. You men form up amongst the guns. Pull this unit of guns out, this cavalry out because they were wavering. Push this regiment of horse into the medicine men. Get all my foot artillery to just engage the chief's bodyguard in the distance. Retarget my howitzers to attack units on the field. Medicine men are going down. So we might be able to whittle the chief's bodyguard down a little bit. Charge the bowmen, skirmishes. Advance towards the Native American warriors. In general, this is, I think this is game over. No, no, this unit of tribesmen is still standing. Keep attacking the bowmen. So this is a bit dangerous because we're getting bogged down by melee infantry. But fundamentally, that cavalry's pretty good. So former, I'm ready to take on that unit of armed tribesmen. Push the infantry forward. Probably a little late. Starting to take shots at the Chief's bodyguard. We've taken out five, but they're holding back at the edge of the map. Yeah, my cavalry charge the armed tribesmen. They're at full strength. 
There's a unit of Native American warriors behind them as well. Charge! Impetuous, winded. Okay. Push up my line in general. Now there's more. There we go. There's the rest of their army. Infantry advance. So I'm probably not going to push my cavalry on that much further. But I will pull them back when my infantry. Well, I'll pull them back now. I was going to wait until my infantry were in position. But I can't really wait for that. Let's get my cavalry back through my line. And go around the flank and go for the general's bodyguard with them. My infantry can try to deal with the rest of these warriors. They may not get much musketry off. Well, actually, no, they're all reloaded, so when they stop, they'll be able to fire immediately. Okay, so cavalry. Go around the flank. There we go. As units get ready. Yeah, so for the for one unit, it's oh, a bit of friendly fire there. So keep firing at max range. Unit fireable off. Yeah, let my infantry keep engaging until the enemy leaves musket range, because yeah, there, there's always going to be some that come back. Let's drop out to fire on them. Left flank, curl it in. Same with my skirmishers. These guys could come back and potentially spoil our plans. The enemy's hidden, so we need to push our infantry forward. That's the way to make them reveal themselves. Artillery is still firing at them. Some of them have come back. Push forward. Both of you. Yeah, there we go. We found them. Demon Storm the Bowman, Demon. Reform your line. Cavalry, go for the chief's bodyguard. There you go, that's broken that unit of bowmen. So you men get back, form your line. Oh, they're all just bowmen. 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 Should still knock out the chief's bodyguard. My marines would be good for charging, although it appears they don't want they don't want us to charge them, which makes a lot of sense. A lot of bow firing for this combat with the general. I'm hoping the chief will go down soon. Speaking of my own, there, you go. there goes the enemy general. Lots of good gunfire. They're slaughtering the enemy. So that last unit standing is the bowmen. The artillery is coming in. Here comes the musket fire. They too did not last. Oh, there's a bowman unit still. Nope, they're routing again. So now it's all down to the chief. There they go. Excellent. 
That is one section of their homeland captured. Now we've got to push on and destroy the faction for good. There is a Spanish possession in Michigan Territory we can take as well. So Iroquois Territory. Actually, they're already Catholic. Nice. So destroy the meeting hall. Destroy the communal farming. Get the army replenished. Get infrastructure upgraded. Let's see what happens. Well, I suppose we better wait in general rather than moving out now. Just wait. And Mr. Figuerdo, Figuerido, attack Niagara, which should be a simpler affair, even though our army's a bit uh, weaker, their garrison is more depleted, so we can be a bit more offensive. Let's push forward. So, gunners here on the slight rise. Infantry front line. In infantry centre and left. Militia right. Militia and grenadiers right. Frontiersmen right. Pikemen somewhere in the middle. Skirmish cavalry left. Melee cavalry right. Let's get my general in with the melee cavalry as well. Excellent. Just push forward. We do not fear the enemy. is going to be hidden in a big clump somewhere, as is tradition. Tribal gunners will likely try and engage us with skirmish fire. And if they want to charge us, that's fine. The general's back there as chief's bodyguard. I mean, it won't take much musket fire to cause these guys to break. They are all quite depleted and there's no uh, there's nothing else to shoot at. Actually my gunners may as well engage the chief's bodyguard to the rear. Everyone else pick off the tribal gunners. They're both shattered. Okay, right, there they are. There's some of them at least. Pull back, there's another section. Medicine men. Okay, again, pull back. This looks like the enemy concentration, so we get the pipes over here. General, hold ground, hold the line. Everyone else make ready and fire. My gunners are still engaging the routing units. Go for the chief's bodyguard. You're putting good fire in, but I think I'm probably going to pull the frontiersmen back. Charge the enemy. Militia, just hold them up. This militia can help here. Those medicine men likely aren't going to be around for very long. Probably pull two more units around the flank. You guys stay kind of strong. Fire will off. Charge the medicine men down. Yeah, still some. I think it's the chief. Yeah, it's the chief. Push 
forward into the rear. Pike, uh, these militiamen and pikes charge the native warriors. Frontiersmen push up to somewhere like here, but fire it will off. There you go. My militia and pikes are now going to surround the Native American warriors. Medicine men are routing. Yeah, they are shattered. Let's run up here. Nice job. Team and push up to about here. The colonial militia took a bit of a hammering from the enemy infantry, but it's fine. As long as everyone's shattered and they don't come back, that's what matters. And my general. Pikes. Yeah, there's the other enemy concentration. Push my cavalry up. Volley fire present. Excellent. Lots of routing, shattered, broken, broken. Push the light cavalry forward. Engage the bowmen. You men engage. You the bowmen. Burn your light horse, storm in. You men make ready with your bayonets. And charge. You may want to engage in melee combat, as do we. So three against one unit, there's probably a bit overkill. Gunners, let's make sure they stop firing. Mount Tribal Auxiliary charge the Chief's bodyguard. Yeah, they have routed. My properly equipped and trained native troops are better than yours. Your ragtag bunch of renegades. The enemy general's fallen. The enemy army is in flight. Excellent. So that is the Okra Confederacy destroyed. And more lands, the mighty Portuguese Empire and the Americas. Nice. So Niagara. Dismantle. We can upgrade the fur market. Dismantle the farming. So you generally want to dismantle most Native American buildings because you can't actually upgrade them yourself. Um, but Michigan is going to be ripe for the taking. Yeah, Louisiana is also tempting. Uh, okay. 6,000. So we are laying siege to Tunis. But I think I'm going to just keep that being besieged for now. One thing I want to do Paris is, is not being taxed. Let's get some uh, industry upgrades of Paris. 1200. Good. At some point I maybe want might want someone down here to hold southern France. So your navy, your trade fleet being recruited. You're a battle fleet it's being recru recruited. Got a battle fleet blocking off the Baltic. Yeah, let's... Then we will expand my small navy. Most of my lowercase navies. <laughs> my lowercase. Uh, Pueblo Nations. Who Who is your problem again? Georgia. Yeah, it, it itself isn't a problem. Um, but we'll probably want to push here when we're when we want when we're starting to engage Louisiana. So the rebels Well the rebels, my agent. My in Cherokee, yeah. 
They, they're equipped, but we don't know how depleted they are. Got 1,200 left, and it looks like we're running out of places. Spend it. Very much does look that way. Let's get starting on the Line Infantry Guard unit then. In terms of tech, one more turn till we get citizenship and it's on to abolition of slavery. Secular humanism might be a good one because it reduces religious unrest. But then again, we're not actually attacking anywhere with a lot of religious unrest as it is. We're, recruit we're researching rockets and steam engine, both pretty cool techs. So right now, Europe is peaceful. Oh, Spain, I'm gonna have to take I'm gonna have to capture Naples so they can so they stop recruiting ships just to frustrate me. I mean in the Americas it's only one ship blocking off occasional um trade ports, and well, that's okay. But in Europe I could really do I could, I could take Naples and then give it to someone. The question is who? Because I don't want to hold on to it. Okay, do I give it to the Dutch? Maybe. Because they're doing well, and they are providing a bit of a buffer. Uh, do I want to intercept that 13 colonies fleet? No. Blockade me as much as you like. I do not mind. You want peace and you're not going to get it because we've got you on the run. In Louisiana thinks they can cause us problems but again like the Cherokee they've got large armies but we can't see, we can see they are depleted but we don't know by how much seventy thousand Catholic missionary recruited in Spain kind of useless but what we can do is send them to Algiers so then at least they don't have to well, when this town's built, it can go straight into economy stuff. Monterey, New Spain. Uh, I'm loath to spend it on a religious building, so let's go for a craft workshop. New Haven, craft workshop, and upgrade your port to a global trading company. Santiago, Los Caballeros. I guess that's how that's pronounced. You can go to craft workshop, global trading company, ports are blockaded, that's fine. Trade gain, Lorenzo, Loren Lorenco, Lorenzo Serrao. Free bottle man, good. Okay. Government chambers in the Huron territory, my spy, well my spy, my religious agent is going to go to Fort Salt St. Marie, convert them from animism, then they'll go up to York Factory. Upgrade the fur exchange, and let's upgrade some, or build some buildings. So we have to rebuild these native territories in our image. Anita, craft workshop. Good, so if I take these colonial militia, see if I can move them over to Huron Territory. Well, you're quite territory, sorry, to uh, occupy or well, to garrison the uh, garrison the city. Kaposhu, yeah, there's your sloop. Hold. Get some more economy upgrades done. Upgrade the lumber mill. Spice warehouse in French Guyana is at max. Okay, I should just, yeah, get some global trading companies built. Very expensive buildings, but very worthwhile. Great government chambers as well. Somewhere I spotted did have actually government. I do like government chambers because again, it's a a boost tax rate. Oh no, it's not a tax rate bonus to regional tax income and increased repression and it's a top tier a top tier building i do like building those because then it's done but good 
So we've got citizenship, they've gone straight on with secular humanism. I suppose that's okay. Abolition of slavery is really useful to get that. Uh, actually, I suppose I should do abolition of slavery. Because oh no, it increases the cost of building web plantations. No, I don't want to do that. Not when I'm about not what I'm pushing in the Americas. But then again, I suppose the overall bonuses you get just completely outweigh the negatives. So you guys are going to keep replenishing, then you're going to take Williamsburg, then this could be a bit dicey until these two armies push and take Michigan. One could push down the west of the river to Upper Louisiana, one could push through here towards Teleco, then you will probably have to fight a few Cherokee armies to the south here. Yeah, recruitment continues. Again, I'm sieging this territory, just want to keep knocking them down. This army will likely then take Naples, then we'll give that away to someone else. Britain's being Britain, okay. Alliance broken between Prussia and Great Britain, excellent. So Prussia, you're unfriendly with us, you're allied with Savoy, I don't like that because we're allied to Savoy, so they may turn on me. The Dutch, though, we're very friendly with the Dutch, we're very friendly with Sweden, very friendly with Austria. Well, let's wait for Europe to blow up before we do too much. Because right now, it's it, there is a large conflict, but it's simmering and not really much to do with me. I should, is that two agents covering Berlin's a bit overkill? So I would infiltrate them, but I think in, when, when you infiltrate, isn't there always isn't there like a perpetual risk that your guys will get killed if they're found? Yes, yeah, Savoy, take those armies back to your home territories. They have no purpose up near Brussels. Yeah, may I come the Cherokee. So let's test this. You infiltrate Charleston. I suppose I should just infiltrate. So I think after a while you can see the entire region. Uh, agent detected. Successful mission. Oh no, I've already got. Oh no, it's a Prussian agent. Okay, then you will go to sit you'll sit here there you go okay cool there's a lot of Württemberg troops let's take let's recruit a general sit him behind Alsace Lorraine and then probably say you know we want some extra backup. New town emerges, Saratoga in New York. Got a craft workshop. Upgrade the seminary, upgrade the fur market. More exports, more better. So, I don't know how depleted you are, but this army's in good shape. So let's... Can't hit them, but if I move to here... They probably hate. Oh no, they don't hate us. Interesting. Does that mean you can also? Ah, okay. I suppose that's the capital. But even then, it's only minus one. So strictly speaking, we don't really need the militia there either. But let's drive this army forward too. You're in good condition. Let's get the roads built here. So yeah, this army. Push forward and let's attack Williamsburg, bring yet another territory into the Portuguese Empire's control. And the idea is if we can try and push hard against the Cherokee inland, we can break the back of their source of power by taking their capital, and then mopping up in Florida should be, well, more of a mopping up operation. Guns, mind line.
push out the infantry. Cherokee there, Cherokee here. Not Cherokee. Native American. I suppose these would be Iroquois. More likely to be. Bring a swarm out. Enemy strength is minor. That's okay. So everyone storm out. Drive my cavalry straight through the town at speed. So I mean they have infantry, but Hessian line and mercenaries, I mean they look great. They're going very fast. The militia is starting to redeploy. New smack into the colonial line. Newman hold, Newman push past. Slam. They've not got very many men in that army unit at all. Bowmen are engaging. I mean, it's quite a nice block of troops. We've got a good combination of the, the musketries doing good work, and the bows are also causing significant upset. Drive forward on the flank. They're shattered, keep the cavalry advancing. But you should just slam straight down into the second. Because they're not going to really stop you. They're likely to just break. Yeah, there they go. Storm the cavalry down into the centre of their fighting positions. Actually, no, you keep advancing. Like they're trying to reform the line. It remains to be seen if that's if they can adequately do that. Yeah, a whole lot of death and destruction form out the line. Yeah, everyone's going after the first regiment to but but yeah, it's the first one. Even goes to the twenty-fourth. Shattered, broken, gunners engaged. The fourth regiment actually, the cavalry can go for them. Cease fire the guns. So they've formed up, ready to receive infantry. But suddenly, behind them, come the glorious Portuguese light horse. And they've broken. Have this unit. Run the cavalry away from the infantry. Nice. So that is Williamsburg. Yes, Williamsburg, Virginia. Let's get rid of the governor's barracks because we have no need for more infantry recruitment. Let's get the plantations built. Excellent. So we may get a Cherokee army driving in from the north. I may actually move my agent over here to try and get more visibility on if there's any other armies heading our way except for this one under Sequoia. Construction report. Again, just... We've got surplus cash. Fleet arrives. You don't really have a purpose. So just hold and hold off of southern Portugal. You're going to begin converting Algiers. Slowly, minus 3.8%, but slow is better than none.
keep the military buildings upgraded just in case I need to recruit a sudden influx of troops. So yeah, I'm particularly keen to get as many of my ports upgraded as possible because we do have a, a it's, we will have a massive influx of spending on uh, steam engines, on steam engine based technologies. Long lack will be de developed in one turn. Okay, cool. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's kind of interesting to create another army, but in the Americas, but the more interesting armies are being <laughs> can be recruited in um, in Europe. Three pounder, six pounder, oh, heavy horse guard artillery. Two twenty fours, two twelve pounder foots, two howitzers. We've got two elite infantry units. Let's go for two units of guerrillas. Two units of expat infantry. We can be slow at recruiting, so I don't need to optimize it. And you can recruit slightly more interesting stuff. Actually, you're going to recruit the 24 pounders. We built the town of Saratoga. Well, we're starting to build the town of Saratoga. In terms of trade, 71,000 a turn. That's pretty awesome. It's a couple of areas. Oh, is that, I think those. Are those being impacted by. Yes, they are. So sending Mr. Sousa out. This is going to be an auto-resolve because it's a pretty weak fleet. We're not going to bring any of their ships into service. That's Cartagena. Uh, we're going to then replenish or repair our ships. Okay. Gonna upgrade some of our ports in London. It's always a good thing to do because Britain's quite a valuable region. Sadly, you've still got this Catholic swine, this Protestant swine over here converting Dublin. Belfast is growing. That'll be a new port. That's pretty good. Okay, cool. Get in turn. So as we're not currently committed in a major conflict with a with a large power, we may as well take advantage of that and upgrade our uh, economic base as strongly as possible. Are they going to go straight back to blockading? Yeah, they are. Do I want to intercept? No. They can blockade as much as they like. Our battle fleet will blow them out of the water. and We don't really need any of their ships. Russia sending troops both east and west, fighting on all fronts. Interesting that Austria is not really electing to expand their territory against anyone. Well, I suppose they may not actually be at war with many people. May tactically be useful to knock out Iceland. Peace with the 13 colonies. Weak and meagre, no. He will be hardly disappointed, but accept that he must. There's a Moroccan army. Well, if they, I suppose it would be useful. Well, I suppose they, they can't cross into Gibraltar because my fleet controls the strait. But they may go for... <laughs> yeah, they've suddenly gone, hold on. Well, they might be going east. Yeah, so... Like last turn, let's take you guys. You're not going to call in those reinforcements, which is unfortunate. We'll call in this fleet for reinforcement. There's I mean, no point fighting it because we don't. We're not. We've got overwhelming firepower, and we, they have no ships of interest. And this fleet is becoming. So, oh, it almost clicked. Scuffer. Got to be really careful. Consider again for Mr. Sousa, Fortunato Sousa, flag lieutenant, flag lieutenant, plus one to command at sea when attacking, which is great. Superior Admiral, this man understands the business of sinking enemy ships. Repeated victory at sea has improved this man's command skills. This trait may be lost through repeated defeats in battle. 
So he is an exalted naval hero, and he's 36. So unless he dies, he should be okay. Famous post-captain in his day. He's only 36. What do you mean in his day? Let's get these ports upgraded. Two new towns. Brunswick and Maine. We can also have a craft workshop. Longlack and Huron Territory. We get a Weavers. Excellent. Okay, a few more turns before we get this territory converted over to, to Catholicism. So you... It's tempting to focus on the Cherokee, but then again, I suppose we do just need more troops. Because it would be useful to take, take Michigan territory, but then that will cause Louisiana to push up and attack us. Louisiana, who are you... Uh, who are you allies with? Cherokee in Spain. What is... So I don't want to make peace with Spain. I don't want to make peace with the Cherokee. So all of these guys are our enemies. So I very much do need more men. I mean, you're going to stay where you are, actually. There's no point moving you. There we go. Keep the upgrades coming. We are a... We are a good people to have controlling your lands. We will make you wealthy. I don't want to attack them because I don't want to push them east. So I'm going to move and raid this farmland. Sure. Push you guys up. I suppose, strictly speaking, I could, I could recruit a bit of a detachment. make it a bit of a a bit more irregular to capture uh, Michigan territory it doesn't need to be a full army port located trade rated port emerges that's Belfast crew to sloop keep the upgrades rolling probably recruit military building in London we'll upgrade the barracks in London we got 1,300. Fusiliers, Grenadier Guards. Let's get Household Cavalry. Only the one. Not because they can't afford anything else, but uh, it definitely does come into it. They're probably going to be recruited in... Oh, I thought they'd be recruited in Madrid. Where are they being recruited? Paris? Yes, they are. Mercenaries are reinforcing the garrison at Strasbourg because they're going to start running out of men. So an extra detachment of seven units of infantry will be a good support. Probably should also buff you guys up as well because that's a lot of chaff that's just going to hit our line. And get, I mean, they turned away for sure, but it's going to take a bit of doing. Let's have a look at Hanover because you've pushed and taken that from Sweden, haven't you? So they got pushed all the way back to Amsterdam, but then they've broken out, which is quite interesting. They really don't want to attack us at Tunis, which is nice to know. There you, go. you sit in Algiers. Three turns till the next town is next town grows. You will die, but our missionaries made Morocco a Catholic haven. Can't recruit anything. One more turn till a whole new selection of ships are built. Aha! The Tunis garrison is sallying. Let's let's fight that action. We can fight that, and then we will we may be attacked by the Cherokee anyway this turn, so that will be a suitable moment to end in the episode. Uh, but for now, let's destroy the British garrison of Tunis. Then we can push on and attack. We can attack um, Malta and Naples, secure an eastern base, an eastern Mediterranean base, and knock out a major power. 13 colonies that are then very much on their own. Put my Grenadier Guards up front because they're going to storm up through this gap. 
units of infantry on the right. Four units of infantry on the left with fusiliers. My regulars push up the hill with my skirmish cavalry and a unit of, of uh, cuirassier. Lance is on the right. Group you guys together. How it's just form up to engage the enemy as is. Put artillery stay limbered. Kind of what I was ex what I expecting to see. But I wanted to run my walk my limbers up, I suppose, up over the high ground. Rather than rely on how it's as alone to do this. Skirmishers aren't gonna have a huge amount to do. I may redeploy my carab being over to the other flank. Okay, they're engaging our. Ooh, that's a, that's a lot. But they are mortars. as well actually should have really thought about that before I suppose there is a bit of a bottleneck through here but yeah when these guys limp set up we might sort of a bit shorter Absolutely smashed by artillery. Let's run you guys over there. We're engaging this militia at point blank range. We're now giving them more targets to shoot at so they can't just focus on my my excellent artillery, excellent uh, infantry. So my right flank's a bit isolated, but their centre is about to collapse. Grassier attacked the colonial line. Okay, now let's start to create a bit of a wedge. are going to actually engage other targets rather than the guns. Lance has hit the African infantry guards. Carabiner do not fire, also attack the guards. Fusiliers pivot to engage the centre. Grenadier guards storm up to attack those gun positions. Push forward. You men both attack the Amazons. Fusiliers set up a blocking position. In the event that any of these chaps come back, we'll engage them. The Amazons remain. They will likely rout in a momentarily. Yes, there they go. Storm up. Cavalry redeploy. My grenadiers get the honour of attacking these gun positions. attack the native infantry. 
Uh, you are required because there's a gun mortar team that's deciding to come back. The Grenadier Guards are gutting the mortar crews. Slaughter them almost to a man. They march into the centre of town. Ooh, Fusiliers are going to make ready and fire, but who at? Age of Infantry are down. Cease fire all of my guns. Okay, I'm going to try to get a reflexive volley off against the Clem Cavalry. Put artillery, all engaged, the armed citizenry, mortars engaged, the Amazons. Actually, the mortars are out of range, so limber up. Bring my cuirassier over on the flank. Right, let's run my fusiliers up. My grenadiers are going to push. Cavalry take the high ground. Cuirassier. Oh, actually, you're probably no, you're probably not going to be needed. Skirmishes aren't doing enough to break the 11th. Garrison militia. Pivot. Gage the Amazons. Storm my Grenadier Guards in. The Fusiliers are going to mow down the 1st Regiment of Grenadiers. They've broken. And then charge on into the Grenadiers. The enemy General is killed. The Irregulars will likely win. Yeah, they've shattered the 11th. Excellent. Garrison of Tunis destroyed. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we have. Oh, I mean, effectively, I'm probably going to auto. Ooh, hello. Where are you going? You're going to get blockaded, me old buster. I'm not going to let you go anywhere. You're going to have to fight your way out of Valletta if you want to move. I don't know. Spain. Spain being Spain. Once they take Naples, they'll have no um, naval production. I should really be raiding them, raiding their ports, preventing them from building those ships in the first place. So how is Sweden going to react to losing all those territories to the Dutch? Not very well. They're actually pulling men out of the continent. It's only a matter of time before the Marathas attack us. I wonder if Italy's going to have the stones to attack Naples. Somehow, I don't think so. The Cherokee are pulling back to try and defend their cities. Which is probably the right call, but... Yeah. Catholic missionary in Upper Canada... You're a Catholic. Okay. Great the farmland. So you are probably going to stay there until this detachment's done. They're going to link up with these militia and then head west. 13 colonies are almost defeated. I suppose really there's nothing... There is likely nothing that they're going to do really to impact us too heavily. They've only got two units. So a few men push up. Sebastião also push up. Dare we try and take out Sequoia? Nope. Steam engine. So now this is where our uh, 
expend expenses go up dramatically because we're going to start building a lot of steam powered in industry as well as upgrading Brest oh no sorry Portsmouth to a steam dry dock Gonna be expensive, but it's going to be very worth it. Just make sure you upgrade towns that currently don't have anything going for them first. Let's focus on European industry because that feels like the proper colonial way to do it. Excellent, your you gunners are ready, or you're on your way. We've got one household cavalry, so let's go for. We've got nine slots. I've recruited all the fusiliers. Oh no, we don't have any money. That's why we haven't actually run out. So my battle fleet. It's going to move out. Tune of Militia is going to hold Cartagena. Because they moved troops to Marsha Slock. And they are going... Well, it looks like they want to try and do something with it. So we're not going to let them. Two a first rate and a heavy first rate. And two heavy first rates, actually. So what I'm probably going to do is auto-resolve the Tunis action because we've effectively fought it last turn. So get rid of the College of Divinity, get rid of the Naval Hospital. Savoy owns Tripoli. Can't repair anything. Let's... Well, we can replenish our army, but that's it. Cool. So, nothing really to do here. You're still holding, although you can... Okay, now they've pulled back. You can push up. So I was afraid they'd come through here and start attacking Annapolis and Williamsburg. But now I can head south a little bit. Not necessary to attack Charleston. If they head east, we can respond now quite safely. Okie dokie, let's hit enter. Yeah, Britain pulled their army back to Valletta because now they can't actually sail them anywhere. If we take Valletta, that will be a useful port. They really want to blockade that particular port. And it's a bit frustrating because uh, that actually has some useful trade links. But not a lot we can really do about that yet. My focus is elsewhere when it comes to expenditure of effort. I think spending the money on all those advanced industries is more worthwhile than spending it on... Than spending money on ships getting involved in minor naval engagements in the Med. Nope. Counter offer. Oh no, I can't make you a protectorate. Nope. Because you're already a protectorate of Great Britain. Venice, Genoa. Or do I low key give Naples to the Italian states? Because they're currently at war with the Austrian Empire. 76,000 explosive rockets. Excellent. Household cavalry is on the way south. Two new towns. A town in Upper Canada. And a town in. in oh, it's up in uh, the Quebec region. New port emerges in Providence. Get a trading port. Let's recruit a brig. Actually, one thing I want to do, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, steam pumped gold mine. Or industrial gold mining complex. Ste uh, and I probably want to get steam powered sugar mills. Because I am researching tech to make, sh to make my plantations more expensive. So let's really ramp up our sugar production while it's relatively cheap. So, tune is, repair, 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 repair. So now you men can all replenish. 
You can recruit a trade port. Nice. 23 hundo. Senhor, as suas ordens. Preparados e aguardados. Merge. Yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't think we had a limit on fusiliers. Although we're recruiting two more infantry. Ah, you need cavalry, not infantry. We've got one household cavalry, but I'd like. Let's get a unit of hussars and get a unit of lancers, I suspect. Lancer guards. Two cavalry, plus the household guard, plus one more. Get unit of marines, elites at that. So yeah, we definitely we're definitely overrunning, but I'm I want to get into a battle. And then we can then I can say, okay, cool, we've ended the turn. Is Austria going to attempt a naval invasion? It looks like they are. Are they gonna invade Italy? Interesting, very interesting. So United Provinces are heading eastward. Uh, Spain is going to, to attempt a naval invasion in the Americas, which is a bit frustrating. So uh, actually, is it worth trying to just make peace with them? Make peace with them, give them some cash, just so I can ignore them for a while. We're not bothered. Well, no, I need to take Michigan Territory first. Or do I? Or do I wait? Well, I don't have to wait. My little... Um, Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Can they kill the navy? That's the point. That's the thing. No, they didn't. Or are, are they? Yes. Oh, you lucky, lucky swine, Austria. Very lucky. Uh, but yeah, I think the. Uh, looks like Georgianoa is also interested in Valletta. Uh, but yeah, I think I've recruited that small army that can be you. I mean, you may have... You can attempt to outflank. I'm going to push one forward to lay siege to their city. Strictly speaking, should go in there and blow them up. Um, but what I was thinking about was if I make peace with Spain... I am recruiting well this army here that is recruited they'll combine with the militia here at Cayuga and then they'll just sit here on the border and then the moment we do want to attack we just cross in and attack them I think that's the way to do it they look like they might, they're interested in a flank so let's go cut off their access to Williamsburg Let's quickly do our, our towns. Another. Some good stuff being built, actually. Uh, but yes, if they... So you're going to hold here, because now they're trapped. You have a look at... No, don't try and get in. Let's see what troops they've got here. We could... Okay, I'd rather have these the other way around. I'd rather have you attacking Teleco, because you're more equipped for a proper defensive action. These guys can handle a, bat a field battle if they play it tactically. So you're going to push up towards Teleco. The port and port emerges in. Oh, ports are merging out of my ears. Yeah, I've already started building this one. Okay, again, focus on European industry. That's the objective. Uh, get a 
theatres as well. May as well get the theatres as well. They're cheap enough. Well, I think our military upkeep is actually really quite low. Oh, God, let us start spending in the Americas. Mexico's got a lot of territories on it. They're, they're a wealthy region. But I think, well, we don't have the armies and the ships in like we do with Mysore. I think that's the main difference. Like we can we can really boost our economy quite well. So, Spain, chill out. Oh. Peace, and I'll offer you flintlock cannon. Very well. Then you've chosen destruction. So this army may end up gunning for. We'd like to go for. Actually, we've got military access. We've got allies. Savoy. Yeah, granted military access. Very well. So then this army. Yeah, that's the definitely not the right army I should have sent. But let's send it anyway. Or at the very least, it's not the most well equipped. Could send you. Yeah, actually, let's do that. You stay where you are. You are not far. One turn, you'll have all of your stuff. You may actually go to here. So the house or cavalry can go by road. We can get to a port, sail, land in Marseille, run along the roads, take Milan, and then one might knock Spain out. Um, but we've definitely overrun by quite a lot. So I'm probably going to end the turn here. So I can next turn, next episode rather, I can kick off by just starting afresh. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Portugal. Because this is going rather well. See you later, everyone.